twenty dollars. Kel, uh, Kel, I've been seeing you around lately. I keep track of my people. Let's see what Kel has to say. I'm reading this cold. I listened to four arguments on your former show with Jim Ant and JV Elvis. Do you acknowledge or regret the way in which you engage in the debates or the style you used? Have you grown or changed in how you handle conflict? I don't regret. I really don't regret much. I kind of regret uh, meeting Anthony, but that's, you know, that's a, that's a very complicated and it's a deep dive just for me and my therapist. Okay. Um, I really believe I would have been better off, which just sounds crazy, I know, because you're in the ONA world. I don't really regret it, Kel. No, I don't. You know why? I'll tell you why. For the simple reason it made amazing radio. Me yelling and screaming and sounding like an a-hole. Other guys yelling and screaming and sounding like a-holes. It wasn't just me. They had their own issues. And uh, there were times they were completely out of control on the radio as well. I'm, 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 I'm done with like being singled out as the only guy that had issues and did stupid stuff on the Opie and Anthony show. I am so done with that. Okay. But I can talk about my part in this. Um, growing up, growing up, Kel, I had a mom. How she communicated with us was to yell and scream in our face uh, to the point that most of us have PTSD now. Um. So that's all I knew. So with me and conflict for, uh, I wouldn't say most of my life anymore, man. I wouldn't say most of my life anymore. Um, you know, how I handled things was to yell and scream and make a big deal about it. And when it was on the radio, it was amazing radio. And then it made for awkward days after the fact, if you want to know the truth. I regret the yelling and screaming behind the scenes that I did at times, but I was so frustrated because, uh, you know, that's not even fair because a lot of these guys did work really, really hard. <clears throat> but there were times I, I, I just knew what I needed or wanted for the show and I knew it would work and I wasn't getting it done the right way. And I needed a better way to communicate that to the people around me. I got in bosses' faces yelling and screaming. Um, but I don't do that anymore. It's very rare that I... Uh, that I raised my voice. It's very, very rare. So I have changed on how I handle conflict. You know, this is $20 well spent. Cause this is like a, this is a good topic. Um, so I do regret it to a point, but I also uh, know uh, that it made damn good radio when I was out of my mind and just yelling and screaming and losing it. No one's turning their fucking radios. And so funny, then you, you look back on it all these years later, and now people try to spin that like it's a bad thing. That They were tuned to their radios with all that nonsense and drama. Oh, my God, he's out of his effing mind. What, are you going to tune into Z100 at that point? Shut up. So no, there you go. I hope I answered your question. But um, through, uh, through therapy, through uh, meeting my wife, through – uh, getting more into spirituality and meditation and yoga. Uh, you know, I've worked on that very, very hard over the years. Uh, I, I, and, and having kids, to be honest with you. Um, have I yelled at my kids? Sure. Not a lot, though. Very, very, very rare. Very rare. Uh, so I think they helped uh, in that regard, too, because I, you know, I, it's a stupid thing. And. I think I talk to more older people than not, but I'm sure there's a bunch of you that have uh, kids. You know, my my whole thing as a parent is really, really simple. Mess them up in new ways. You know the crap that messed you up. Don't do that. You know how that made you feel, right? So mess your kids up in new ways. And what I mean by that is, you know, you could you could be a perfect parent. You're going to mess them up. You're going to mess them up. Unfortunately, you got to accept that part of uh, parenting, unfortunately. But why, if you know a whole list of the things that really bothered you growing up and what your parents did, why would you do that exact stuff to your kids? Why?